Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the four new Ritter Sport Bars. These were sent to us from Maria in Berlin, Germany, so thank you very, very much to Maria. This one is just, these two are both vegan. So this one is a, they're made of almond milk, and so we just have the semi-sweet dark uh, in this one. Um, and then this one is the almonds and quinoa. And these are both new. This one is a salted caramel and the tart cherry. So we're just gonna try the regular vegan um, Maria's cheat sheet. She says, Ritter Sport has some new limited editions for the spring season and some new vegan chocolates in their regular assortment. The vegan chocolates are made of almonds instead of milk. They come in semi-dark, which I told you, um, and then the almonds and quinoa. Uh, the calories for the whole bar. The, this one for the, the pure vegan bar is 567 calories, but that's for the whole thing. Hmm. What flavor is that? Just chocolate? Semi dark. It tastes like a candy bar with almonds. <laughs> you can taste the almonds. It's not bad. If you like almonds, you can taste the almonds there. I don't mind that. It's not as creamy, quite as creamy as like a milk chocolate, but it, it has a nice texture to it. It, the texture, um, I do like the texture, but the texture reminds me of like when you buy um, more towards like <coughs> baking chocolate. It's not quite as like brittle as a baking chocolate, but it is a harder it's not creamy it's yeah. it's it's a harder chocolate but to be vegan it's it's, it's really good I, yeah I, it, it does not have the sweetness um no but it is semi semi dark yes which i think of like semi sweet it's basically exactly. the same thing exactly so it yes it's I not gonna have that, yeah so. it's not gonna have the sweetness of a milk chocolate so as long as you go in knowing that, yeah. but I do like it. I like it. I would eat it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I if I were vegan, I would eat it. I don't, I'm not vegan, so I don't need to. But but if I was, I would. I would think uh, most times when you're buying gluten free, vegan, all that, uh, usually there's a price difference. So I would assume there would be a price difference between those and these. Maybe not. Maria can let us know. Um, so if you don't have to eat vegan and you can just buy the regular bar if it's cheaper then why wouldn't you uh but it's nice that they have these around this is the almond and quinoa and it is 560 calories for the entire bar and it is full did you hold that up at all it is uh, full of no. quinoa you really can't see mm -hmm. got little little dots all over it and then you can see almonds in there as well if you want to see a close-up we'll have a picture at the end as always. That's not bad. It basically tastes the same as the other one. The almonds come through a little bit stronger, but that's that's about it. You lose the creamy, the whatever smooth and creaminess you got out of the first one was gone because you had all those little pellets in there, basically. I didn't get much creamy from the first one at all. It was a little bit. Um, for me, nice. for me, like I said, it was more of a baking chocolate. This one, I do like it as I'm chewing it. I do like the quinoa because it does add a lot of uh, extra <coughs> texture. I do like the flavor. I do taste the almonds. The thing I don't like is now it's supposed to be gone. And I, I still have, yes, anytime that we eat quinoa, and I'm sure this is the case with most people, you find little pieces everywhere later. Mm. And it's like, that's supposed to be gone now. And I don't want to still have that quinoa in my mouth, but you do. That's the only thing about eating quinoa. It gets in your teeth. It gets everywhere. I don't have too much with that, but... I do like the crunch of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're moving to a regular bar. This is the salted caramel. And it is 525 calories. So it's a, a lot fewer calories for the entire bar than the other ones. That's interesting. Which one? This one. There's nothing to see. Mm. It's got like crunchy bits of like toffee inside it. And you get salt. Wow. It's very good. That 
has probably taken the place for my favorite Ritter, Ritter Sport It's Club. very, very good. Well, there's one more <clears throat> that I would say I might like more. I don't know. I think that's taken first place. Yeah. It, it's like a, they've taken the Ritter chocolate and crushed up the inside of a Heath bar and put it all through. Yes, there. I was going to say, Kevin said Heath bar. <clears throat> I was going to say toffee. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it okay. almost tastes like a Heath bar. And if you're in the UK, we're talking about a dime bar. Yeah. So imagine a dime bar and... The difference between this and a dime bar is this is thicker. The, the pieces of chocolate you get are thicker. So it would be the same idea as a dime bar. You're just getting more of it. That is incredible. The other Ritter Sport Bar, because somebody will ask me, I had it years ago. I've only had one once, and it was sent to us, I believe, uh, pretty sure from Germany. But it was a white chocolate. It was like a limited edition for winter. Mm. And it was a white chocolate, and it had cinnamon. Yeah, I remember And that. it was just incredible. That's take, that salted caramel's taking my number one, though. It's very um, good. This one is cherry and almonds, and it's 557 calories for the whole bar. When I held it up, you could see the layer of like cherry in there. Mm hmm. It's creamy. Yeah, that one's okay. It has a very like milky flavor to it, mm -hmm. which a lot of the creams in Germany have a milky kind of flavor. Even in Europe in general, the creams usually have like that milky kind of, not buttermilk, it's not a sour, it's buttermilk, but it kind of reminds you like it's heading towards like a buttermilk flavor. You can really taste the cream. Mm -hmm. um, and I wish that was dialed back just a little bit. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. It's amazing to me the difference in the sweetness between the vegan. And I know the vegan was semi-sweet, so you can't compare them. But you just have to note that, that it's amazing that going from semi-sweet to just the full-on milk chocolate. Yeah, huge, it's big difference in sweet. Yeah, well, and that's almond milk, and these are milk chocolate, so that's different too. So the sweetness is like a crazy mm -hmm. overload, but I love it. I do well, like the salted that. caramel has tons of of that toffee. Like it. Oh so my you, gosh! You gotta sweeten it up a lot with that. Yeah, that's definitely if you can ever get that salted yeah. caramel, you have to get it. It's good. It is. It's fantastic, and they could have called it toffee. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do like the I like the cherry more than I Kevin. I don't mind the cherry. I just that milk flavor is pretty strong in there. So mm -hmm. I just like found milk. some quinoa in my teeth. That, <laughs> they, they, and that's the way that quinoa is. Yeah, it puffs up. It gets this little ball around it. That's why I don't buy things with quinoa. But I did enjoy the experience of the chew. It's mm. just the after I don't like. You're always cleaning it out of your teeth afterwards. I'm trying to see if I have it. I don't think I do. But Maria, if you have not tried this for yourself, please, please good. try it. It is so absolutely delicious. That's the best one of the four by oh, yeah. far. Oh, yeah, by far. Yeah. So I will have a picture for you all at the end. And thanks for watching.